Hello, we are back once more with Final Fantasy XIV. Last time around, we did start with Dawn Trail. Already related, but we already will like um, played through all the way to at least get like our first keystone. So, at least we got it. And we are also on the way to get our next because we still have like have the storyline on with the Hanano and getting their keystones. But I also want to do these two quests here for the Eve Occurrence. So we can, once we get back to this area further down, the story quest can unlock flying further down the line. Um. I guess I'm assuming you're looking for. Or not. Mm, okay, this also already finished uh, that one up. That's kind of critically. I do kind of nice. I do think it's kind of nice that they actually go quite quick. So we actually can uh, really get back to the story now. Also, since I'm still like at the start of Dawn to Trey, I've already heard like some people being not that happy with Dawn Trey when it comes to story because we as the main character are like taking a seat back from like you're not just enough attention for the story for the most part, as far as I heard at least. And I actually think it might be a nice change for once, to be honest. But I will have to see how I will think about it once we actually prove the story. Actually, both at the same time. Kind of nice. Mm. Okay. These two quests, at least. Hello, Denobly. Here you go. Not even sure what I even did for you besides for looking for a mage, I guess. Uh, but I'm getting the occurrence, so I don't really care as long as I get that. Get that. And we also got a level up with that. It's really nice. Then let's actually use our return. It's actually gonna get back to Toyola. And that's also why I said Toyola is my uh, home point because I will have to teleport here a lot and return is like 
free. Besides for like the 50 minute cooldown, but hey, one story cutscene feels like it takes 50 minutes at least, so we will be fine with that. Interesting that we found an elector and one of his keystone. I knew I was right to trust your instincts. Come on, let's keep things moving and march onward to Kosamaoka. Chances are good we'll find an elector later as well. Before we do anything, however, we should see what our patient Hanu friend has to say. Alright. I've been quite content riding here, dining on the third promises coin, but it seems we're ready to ask her questions now. So what is it you would like to know? Jiruto Okano goes up through the arc of the dawn, then follow the road which runs alongside the Kasamaoka River, is it right? It is. Be warned, however, my preference tell me the recent storm has rendered the path even muddier than usual. The footing is quite poor in some parts. For worse, was the destruction visited upon our home storm. Houses were torn apart and several people injured if not killed. You are well off. Festival is in danger of being called off this year. If you do still plan on going, I must urge you to proceed with caution. You'll be sure to watch out for them. Thank you. Yep. Now I'm worried for the Hano. It sounds like they were hit hard by the storm. Anyway, if you're bound to Kosamaoka, we should head over to the Yag. Or the Arch. And the arch is right over there. Well, I think it's still really the same we actually went before, is it not? Oh, I'm all wrong right now. Are ready to leave? Yes, we are. Then on one to Kosamaoka. Open the way. Kosamaoka, the land of rainbow terraces. commands the gaze of all who visit without fail the many-colored marvel. An endless torrent of water cascades over sheer cliffs to shape the wetlands below. To its relentless flow, all life must yield. Together with Wuklamat, we proceeded along the marshy trail a road upon which the Dawn Servant and his comrades once traveled. This looks quite flooded, actually. But hey, it's Marshlands. Yoktora Kosamoka, and it looks really cool. Quite colorful, actually. of that water. The Isle of Palm was impressive, but as you can see, Tulihyola does not want for natural wonders. Mm -hmm. The ground is swampy, so watch your step. You wouldn't want to fall into a bog. True. I won't. I told you I've been here before. Oh. I feel like this is definitely going to happen now. Come on. Okanu isn't much farther.
Why is the music is actually going so much louder? What the hell? There's no stopping the third promise, is there? The good thing she has Ermel to keep her from getting lost. Wall is crumbling, you certainly death for her. Everyone should be so lucky to have such a loyal childhood friend. Alright, let's get moving. If we continue along this road, we should find ourselves in the village before long. Alrighty. Actually, Togro. Also, I actually should be looking out for uh, evil currents. To the rest. Okay, it's a bit far for now. I'm guessing we'll be getting going there soon, though. Also, have a daddy pet, Toro. There you go. Oh, daddy, but the pet of the stream, you could say. Uh, everyone has arrived, and none the worse for wear, except for a certain for promise who slipped in the mud despite my explicit warning. See, I call it. Hey, I asked you not to say anything. Anyway, this is the Hanahanu village I was telling you about, Okano. Hmm. Okay. It's like our friend said, the people are in no mood for festivities. I can only assume they are still recovering from the damage wrought by the storm. <clears throat> Indeed, well, let's do what we came to do and find this elector. Oh, Kali! Is this a new lolly ho? Oh, what now? A town of reading. Surely you heard it's the last time you were here. Well, I was busy enjoying the festival. Greetings to the third promise and her entourage. I, Sano Hali, welcome you to Ukano. As elder of my people, I shall also be fulfilling the duties of elector during the rite of succession. Ah! Huh. This one was easy. I'm ready. Give me the feet and test my worth. All in good time. All in good time. In fact, I came to let you know that we are not quite ready to begin. For the moment, please enjoy the hospitality of our village. Right then. It helped me to do some investigating in Russian, Pane uh, Russian Palace, so let's take a look around here as well. Why well, is it just a division of forces? For instance, Erin, the Alice and Cry could concentrate on the southern half of the settlement. Meanwhile, Wuklama, Tamamo and myself were handed this northern half. Sure. Sounds good to me. Yep. Well, let's see how much havoc the storm breed brought here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh, the gemstone dread of this area. Okay. Let me tune to the for right first. here mm. a vantage point okay <sighs> you heard about a storm I've never seen the likes of it before 
with the supplies and help of the Dawnstones, and we are making progress repairing and building our homes, but while the roofs and walls can be patched, there's so much else that was lost for good. <sighs> oh. Mm, broken houses, broken roofs. The, the village looks good for the most part, to be honest. This, uh, besides this one, like, really broken house. The gaping hole in the wall and missing portion of the roof are clearly the work of the storm's powerful winds. Repairs appear to be ongoing. I had a work in my head. A lot of houses are still damaged, and the Hanno I've spoken to are not their usual cheery selves. The storm broke more than wooden weeds. There must be something I could do to help them. I'm going to look around a bit more. <laughs> I mean, this dude is chilling fishing, I guess. A dry and shrunken bundle is just the reeds were harvested some time ago. Mm. I think I have to go around for this one. Mm, yeah. Auto for all reeds. Okay. Woven from reeds, this boat like vessel is reminiscent of a bird, and beak and feather tail in particular stand out. The boat must be woven from the same reeds I have seen gathered into bundles here and there. The plants hold both practical and cultural significance to the honeymoon. Then. Hello, can you all hear me? I'm told they're ready to receive us now. Come to the large building in the south of the village. On my way. And we're also on our way. Got to area over too. Yep. Ah, Koana is also here. No sign of Zorolja, or that oversized lout. How much easier it would be if Zorolja were to fail here. But that isn't likely to happen. Honored guests, I am Zanu Hali, elder of the Hanu. I am also an elector. Charged with judging which among you is worthy of ascending the throne. Without further ado, let us talk of the feat. Not so fast. Surely you couldn't begin without us. Is it a true headed dude? Uh, yeah, of course. You made it after all. No need to fuss. There is no time limit for this challenge. Now, if you would allow me to proceed. It is here, in Okanu, where my people forged a bond with the Dawn Servant during our own chapter of the Tuli Yolal Saga. In homage to those events, I have prepared for you the Feet of Reeds. Reeds seem to be of great importance to the Hanu. 
I wonder what this feat entails. Hmm. Hopefully no big trading side quest again. We use wreaths in every part of our lives, be it as food or weaving material. But look around the nearby patties, and you will see that this season, our crops are failing. How fortunate, then, that my appointment to Elector coincided with this predicament. For surely, those who aspire to be Dawn Servant would find the matter of an ailing harvest a mere trifle to resolve. Aye, well, it is indeed the duty of a ruler to address the people's woes. True. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Do well in this, and you will earn my keystone. This looks like a perfectly made challenge for Koana. Why bother mucking about in the mud? When we can take the stone by force. Oh, mercy me! You are a hot headed fellow, Bakul Jaja. Some electors may enjoy going toe to toe with scrappers like you, but I refuse to entertain your base instincts. Arrangements have been made. Should you attempt to engage a feat giver in combat without their consent, word of your immediate disqualification will be sent to the palace. If you're still feeling feisty, then by all means, draw your weapon. <laughs> this contest is presided over by cowards. There's no sport in fighting you. Then we can return to the business of earning my keystone. The feat of reeds is begun. Claimants, I wish you the best of luck. Huh. The clever kitty crossed the seas to study foreign novelties. He might know tricks we don't. Tricks we can use. What of little Miss Mittens? <laughs> you know the answer to that. Compared to the first and second promise, she's a distant third. Not even in the running. Hmm. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Then we see eye to eye on this brother. Being Bakul Jaja so long with me has rubbed off on you. <laughs> These allies of hers, though, they might be a problem. Hey, at least he recognizes us as a threat. Just as qualified to be here as they are. I'll show them. Easy now. There's no time limit, remember? Let's keep calm and think things through. Right. You're right. I won't win against that lumbering vidrol by losing my head. So saving a harvest it is. Not really an easy feat to be honest. Now we're getting boots next. I don't know the first thing about farming, but if there's a way to save the harvest and help the hunter, then we're going to find it. I may buckle Jaja eat his words. Understanding the nature of the problem will be the key to solving it. We need to examine, examine the reeds themselves and then deduce the cause of their poor condition. And we will take us to the fields where the weeds are grown. Of course, follow me. Mm -hmm. 
No blues, I crossed it, so let's just follow the story. You can see, uh, you can also unpack. I will get to the bottom of this problem in no time. Don't try to solve this alone, Ruby Lamar. Give me strength. Let's all of us go out of fields and help our bull leader identify anything unusual. As I don't know how he described, the reeds appear wilted and unhealthy. The water contains no obvious contaminants and look fresh and clear at the uh, cursory glance. A small frog catches your eye. Strangely, lexidatically, it doesn't even bother to hop when it eventually scurries away. Huh. Interesting hint. The soil in the petal is as one would expect, rich in color and suitably moist. Not dry. North Lady. Seen enough? I'll call everyone together and we can share discoveries. Well, what do you think? Any obvious problems? I agree, the waters look to be of good quality, as does the mud in which weeds have been planted. The frogs and insects are usually unusually torbid. This suggests the problem is affecting not only the weeds, but also the creatures which live among them. Could something visible to the naked eye be polluting the water? I could, uh, would need an alchemist to know for certain. I don't have much uh, to add about the fears, but something else occurs to me. We never describing how the creatures seemed lifeless. I couldn't help but be reminded of all the listless villagers. They have suffered a terrible tragedy, I know, but there is another reason for their lagging spirits, I believe. Go on. The festival. This is, tra is traditionally an occasion for celebration and renewal, so without it, the Hanu are struggling even more to recover. The last time I visited, the village was in the middle of the festivities. We will never see the Hanu Hanu much joyful in their life. It's an indispensable part of their culture, and its absence will only compound their woes. So I said we helped them put on the festival, give them a reason to cheer in these sad times. Who knows? Maybe fixing one problem could lead us to a solution of the other. Stage of things have happened already. Right. I failed to see the relations between festivals and fields. But don't be too hasty in dismissing the idea. Things which seem underrated can later prove to be connected in surprising ways. True, and being bereft of ideas as we are, any proposal is worth entertaining. I suppose. Besides, this is Booklamar's journey. It's only right that we follow her lead. Thanks, everyone. By the way, does anyone know where the festival float is? It's like a boat room from reeds that looked like a bird. 
We've seen that before. An epic verdict to the north. Let's go and see it. There's much as debate when I'm traveling alone. <laughs> well, obviously. Debating you only do when you're around with other people. And as a second uh, two arrows, I won't be like immediately rushing after them. That's the wrong person I wanted to talk to. Yes, this is the float I remember. Mm, it does not appear somewhat damaged to you. You should take a closer look. Expect a festival float, you may move the cameras. Yeah, okay, I don't really know this little minigame. Already noticing it in one immediate defect. Oh dear, one of the birds and seems to be missing a gemstone. Hmm. Okay, magnificate isn't really. Oh yeah, there's something snapped. Oh, it's definitely broken. How would I lift this uh, great big vessel with all, all the carrying poles intact? Hmm. These tall feathers have seen better days. I swear the cars were a lot brighter the last time I saw them. Well, I think we uh, can all agree this bird boat is in dire needs of repair. No, how do we go about fixing it? What's going on here? We're admiring your festival float. It's a shame it's in such a poor state due to the recent storm, I gather. Yes, we had to leave it exposed while we ushered our people to safety. With the float in these conditions, there can be no lifting of wings. No Ihihana. Ihihana? That's what a festival was called. I want to help you hold it. Have you not seen our village? Homes are ruined. We're struggling to make repairs and you want us to hold the harvest festival? I know how it sounds, but giving into misery never improves anyone's situation. A celebration of life and growth may help give you the strength to work throughout this tragedy. The role of festival leaders mine this year and there's nothing I would like more than to lift everyone's spirits. But we don't even have enough materials to repair the float. We need a boki abo kiksa for the missing eye, Ryu Wipo wood for the poles, and feathers from the winds chosen to adorn the tail. Two of those I know. Abo kiksa is a type of precious stone used in arcane equipment, and Ryu Wipo wood is essentially for crafting ceremonial instruments. These chosen feathers, however, the winds chosen is the victor of a competition in which the contestants see who can blow a feather is the furthest using wind magics. And that's something of a problem right now. We Hanu Hanu are gifted at employing such eerie sorcery, but expend a great deal of mana when doing so. We are soon exhausted by the effort, and having no need uh, reeds to eat will only make it harder. 
finger, understand? The ripened sweet grow quickly and rigorously, so much so that they stifle the development of nearby plants. They must be a potent source of energy you naturally lack. They are in need. Owing to the poor harvest this year, we have been left in narrated. And if we cannot gather the correct materials, as dictated by the customs, we cannot repair the festival float. Mm. Early enough, we may have just stumbled upon our solution. The wind chosen would, by necessity, have a natural gift for manipulating magical energies. Which means any feathers taken from the victor should be high in ethereal conductivity. The float construction also requires a stone used in arcane equipment as well as timber favored by ceremonial tools. Demand for such specific materials must have an underlying reason. Hmm. The float might also function as an arcane device. Precisely what I was thinking. This Board of Freeze is in fact the arcane focus of some kind. A focus? For what? Oh! Ihana -E is a harvest festival, isn't it? That must mean the flown was made to encourage healthy crops. So if we repair the boat and hold the festival, its arcane powers might fix what's wrong with the reeds. You won't know until we try, but this is a sound theory. Celebration, prayer, ritual ceremonies, these have all been known to elicit miraculous effects. God. Wait, wait, wait. The float? A tool of magic? This is the first I'm hearing of it. In a bidding, it may way not have been. After a good harvest here, there would be no reason to change it. But when the harvest was poor, new adornments were likely added, and those who performed the labor may have imbued their work with ardent hopes for a brighter future. Through years of trial and error, the Hanu would have refined the festival flowed into a focus for prowess prayers. Incredible. I know you're practically fainting from hunger, but reviving Ihihana really does sound like the solution to all your woes, and I promise we'll do everything in our power to help you. I'm still not convinced about this Fogo business, but I accept your aid nonetheless. I will introduce you to the shipwright who has been maintaining the flow these last few years. He has replaced both the eyes and poles before, so you should know where and how to procure what we need. Then allow Alice and I to acquire the feathers. We will encourage the people of Okaano to gather and vie for the title of its chosen by sharing with them our own reserve of mana. I'll go with you. I carry some alchemic brews that may afford the same effect. The first will visit the ship right then. Well, let's go. Not without me, I've worked hard to fix the float as best as I can, and the responsibility is mine after all. I've not in my suit. Introduce myself. Have I? My name is Lino Hanu. Nice to meet you, Lino Hanu. And certainly, let's all go together. Oh. We're supposed to talk to Cry first. Having spoken about, we found ourselves a promising way forward. Experience and knowledge are valuable assets, but it is something to be said for following one's instincts. Oh, yeah, I'm finally getting my boots. Definitely fitting. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's good, quite like more simple and more casual armor, you could say, but I can really kind of like the style of it. 
Boy, thank you for the follow, Carilio. Very appreciated. <laughs> Yay! Sweet. Dripmine's name is Wook Iwo. He is a Shabra who only moved to Kosamaoka a few years ago, but has since mastered our customs to an almost frightening degree. Also, is this the. Is this Bang Mu boss from Zenderson Zero? <laughs> Everban, oh, hello, greeting. Oh, that one. Don't worry, I remember how it goes. Then we should have any problems. Let's head to. Ogbeck 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 B to the east of here. <laughs> Thank you. And geez, the Hano Hano have difficult names for some stuff. Mm. Wait, where is it? Over there. Mm -hmm. Let's uncover this part. <laughs> the reason are deep. All right. <laughs> Interesting name. Let's see, let's make sure you get that evil current first, which is supposed to be somewhere around here. Ah, over there. Fine. Can I get... No, it doesn't look like it. I can get it up from there. I really like the better for him. This is Okbek Bay, the village of all. Those who drift into Kosamaoka from Tuliola and elsewhere are welcome to live here alongside the Hano. As for Book Ewo, he lives and works in the house of the Wallace High, atop of the large tree nearby. Follow me, but I should warn you, the climb up the stairs can be challenging. Eh. I don't think it will be it will really be an issue for us. I mean, I can just ride up the stairs uh, on top of Torquil. Good boy. <laughs> I'm also getting some pets for that. With me. Right. A greeting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, hot Kali. <laughs> this looks kind of silly. Even more silly than the Lali Ho. I'm guessing there will be an emote for this eventually. Good. You brought your manners with you. Mm. 
When you know Kano, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours, the preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. Well, that explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. Ah, I appreciate an open mind. <laughs> In fact, I get the sense we've met before. Oh? You! You look Lamont! Oh, She's cruelous. <laughs> what an unexpected honor for old Wokevo. Here I am prattling on about manners, and I've gone and insulted the third promise herself. There is no excuse for this betrayal of etiquette. Please, <laughs> take up your axe and claim my impudent head. I will not keep your head. Okay, this is escalating way too quickly. What the hell? formalities anyway so forget about it all right all right then consider it forgotten <laughs> okay that was quick how prompt <laughs> <laughs> we're actually here about the ihihana float it's in bad shape and we need you to craft new carrying poles and a new eye i'm told you work with uyuipo wood and a certain kind of stone uh, Abokisha? Oh, it's pronounced Abokisha, not Aboki, uh, Aboxia. Ah, okay. That I do. But, while I would like nothing more than to offer my services, I just used the last I had of both those materials. My lumber in particular went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. I can't wait that long. If you tell me where to go, I'll gather them myself. What? Send the third promise out on an errand like some common lackey? That's <laughs> utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. I told you not to worry about such things. All right, then. I shan't worry a whit. <laughs> okay, I'm already like him. <laughs> He's such a weird character. <laughs> What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the float's repair. As strange as it may sound, Wuklamat and her friends believe the float is an arcane focus, meant to encourage the growth of our struggling reeds. Hmm. Too many Hanu have forgotten, it seems. But... That is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. Your education is impressive, Third Promise. Well, it wasn't really education, it was just a guess on our part, but hey. And the guess came from Arvino in particular, so. <laughs> well, maybe a little. <laughs> Allow me to show you where to procure Uyuipo. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? Take yourself to Cave Kikitola or thereabouts, and you should find the stones you need. All right. Sounds easy enough. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. That should save us some time. All right, then. Let's get moving. Wait, who's that? This is like, yeah, okay. One of like, Wabuja's followers. 
Obaba or Jaja. Chosen one. One of your rivals is making progress. Hmm. Ihiana, you say? <laughs> Should our first choice fail to deliver? It might be wise to let this play out. <laughs> the third-rate promise is making herself useful after all. So they are just trying to prosper out of our hard work. Why am I not surprised? Cave Kikitola is southwest of Okohano. We can return to the village first and head there on foot. Alright. Any other evil currents nearby before we go over there? Southeast. I mean, if I go over quite a lot of it, more south, but southeast would be over here somewhere. Yeah, okay, a brief way for up uh, to that side. Found him again. Surface of you, was it? Let us be on our way. Wow. Well, that stop was unnecessary. Oh, the we can. Wait. How about here? Let's unlock you, but I do not want to hire you. Thank you. Turn to the west. Uh, where might that be? Is it on top or is it down here? What's down here? to the north. Alright. I haven't picked that one up on the way back. Uh, they're outside of the cave, aren't they? Hello there. Cave Kikitora, as promised. Home to many deadly creatures. Venture inside if you feel confident, but I will conduct my own search early. You can spot Vara Abo Kisha by its green hued glimmer. Bring anything matching that description to me. I just scour the inside of the cave, then you take the west half and I take the east. Okay, sure. Oh, 
Oh, this is actually just very... Yeah, but it will come with us. Well, okay. Do your thing. I don't some XP while you're at it. <laughs> oh, you're already done. Okay. I picked uh, over the ground near the entrance, but found nothing. Did you have better luck inside a cave? Yeah, we did. There you go. Yes, this is Abokisha. Along with Christ's contribution, we have more than enough for our reeds. The stone you have brought uh, shine very brightly. Thank you both. I would have been happy to know we were putting things right. Truth be told, a good friend of mine was meant to be the festival leader for this year's Ihihana. But when a big storm hit, he he did not survive. It fell to me to carry on in his stead. That's why you agreed to book some art requests, despite your initial reluctance. Yes, I don't hear, but she was right. Though I'm not mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize that the path of my recovery, our recovery, is already laid out before me, and I will walk it for myself and for my friend. Ah. Thank you for sharing your story with us. Bliss was assured with taking your blight to heart. I'm certain our companions are bro uh, procuring the other materials as we speak. Everything come together, and the Hanu Shadow host is splendid, uplifting festival. That we shall. And with that, let us return and deliver the Yabukisha into Wuke Wu's waiting hands. And we're just gonna go pick up the evil current for a star. But why did it? Why did I dismount? I did not hit the dismount button, but okay. Is it on top of the tree? Not seeing it down here, and it's supposed to be not from me, so I'm guessing the tree it is. Yeah, probably you run it down to the south. Yeah, okay, it's on top of here. Or? of you. I don't think it can go up any further.
I did hear it. Uh, okay, it's right at the roads. Come on. <sighs> yeah, at least I got a lookout point, I guess. The is actually giving me a lot of Kiseki vibes, to be honest. I'm sure Rich, but it kind of reminds me of one particular frame from Kiseki. I just can't really quite remember which frame, though. <laughs> Uh, how far has this frame progressed? Ah, it's almost done. Yeah, okay, then I'm not gonna join it. Flying would be so nice now. <laughs> but oh well, up the stairs we go again. Thanks to the fair promises and her mighty swings, we've collected some suitable locks for Uyuipo. What about a, a, bo a boxer? No. A bokisha. <laughs> I almost forgot again how it was pronounced. <laughs> Where was a bokisha? Yes, these are the excellent sawwells. A good quantity, too. At this stage, we have likely surmised that the lifting wings encourages the crops to grow, but not exactly how, eh? Well, you're in for a treat. If all goes as planned, the results should be spectacular. Now get to work crafting these pieces of the floor. I could use an assistant verse in the arcane arts to enhance the UEPO's conductivity. Then I might be delighted to help. Everyone else, shut up back to Ogano. We'll join you at the float once the work here is complete. Okay. Let's actually teleport. Gathering in the Uipo was a try in and of itself. At first, Book Evo criticized everything I did. Then he suddenly yelled, I've spoken ill of the third promise and must punish myself, and proceeded to slam his hand into an Uipo tree. God, this guy is so random. <laughs> I didn't know to worry about it again, and it was like snuffing out a candle. He's an odd one, that's for sure. At least you've seen the pulse with the new eye. Now we just have to wait for the feathers from the twins. Why are we getting die again? We should get some rest before the excitement begins. Mm. 
Oh there, by the float. Isn't that a fair promise? Then the rumors are true. She's trying to complete the feats of freeze by reviving Ihana. The festival is a prayer for heavy crops, but does she honestly believe that will be enough to save our harvest? The second promise, meanwhile, barely glanced at the fields before leaving Okano altogether. Maybe you ask how much of our young claimant. Oh, I wouldn't be too quick to count Kohan out. A friend of mine overheard him muttering by the reeds something about what needs to be done. Is that so? Perhaps we get to see another of his in uh, innovations first hand. Huh, that sounds like a corner. One look at the reeds was all he needed to think up a solution. Be that as it may, our own solution is nearly ready. Indeed, as soon as the others get back, our long awaited festival can begin. It took some doing, but we managed to give our competitors to Y for the title of Lynn's Chosen. Then was only too happy to donate, donate his feathers. We soon that he called forth an incredible gust that sent his feathers sailing from my arms. We had to turn ourselves, but it's more difficult than it looks. Poor Aaron Wyatt rode in the air for a moment before landing on a sword. I'm a cleaner. Magic is not part of our training. As for us, we've brought a wood and gemstone replacements crafted by Ebu. All that's left is to attach them. Has been decided to rewrite the float. Papa was the guest of honor the last time I was here. I remember being surprised they could even lift the thing with his hulking weight on top of it. The rider must be a personage of great esteem, which is why an invitation is usually extended to the dawn servant. This time I have another in mind. Oh, who is it? Our beloved Ihana, the lifting of wings, is only being held because of you and your companions. Does I nominate you, Buklamat, as our guest of honor? Huh, me? This bowl won't make me seasick, will it? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I don't think so. The Ray Anchor! I can hardly refuse a request from one even more enthusiastically about a festival than me. Mm. I would be delighted to ride a float. Thank you, Wunderman. I have roads for the rest of you as well. I will be carrying the festival float in a slow procession towards Kosan Kosan Waki, where the sacred likeness of Kishaihi is as concert. As concert. However, uh, most of these words are pronounced to tell. All I'd like you to do is clear the path of dangerous wild lighters so that the procession can move along unimpeded. So they're done. You expect me to sit still until Wukebu has finished with the float? Let me come along and tap with the cleaning. As you know, I'm not much for fighting. I'll step right and assist Wukebu with the repairs. If you aren't sure where you need to go, the path I spoke of begins at the south of the village and branches off to the east. It will lead you across the bridge to the stride of the sun. Then we shall see you to clearing it end to end. Alright. One time floor sweeping coming, I guess. As Shinono said, Kozanuaki should be down this way, then off to the east when the path branches, and something about bridges and the stride of the sun. Anyway, let's put up and get to work. Once you've cut all the threads you can find, we meet up in front of Kishaihi. 
Kishai or whatever. I don't know. I really do not know. <laughs> Wait, two Kali. Is this really a mixture of a Colibri and a Toucan? Interesting. What's so stinky about it? No other question, do I actually want to know? Let's see. Are we gonna pass any kind of your current? 500 to the south? Nah. I don't think so. I don't think like Trendy would have been would have made a difference because they're really weak. Mm. I think I usually made to make a detour and pick already pick up the Tifa right down there. Oh, okay, no, it's up the waterfalls. I don't think I will get to it wait, uh, as easily as I think I might. Uh, I don't know detour yet. Is this the Palace of the Dead Horse? Uh. I don't quite remember which of the horses was like the rare palace of the dead one. That's a lot, it's a record here. Still just a substitute for Kerr nonetheless. It's to the west now. Okay. Where exactly? to the east, all right. Mm, looks like we're done, sweet. Uh, 
Ah, you were a step ahead of us. This must be the likeness of Kishaihi. The Hanohano deity of the harvest. Hmm. I'm just taking images now. So I think we saw in the Academy in Naida. Is she talking about the Quetzalcoatl boss before the... I think it was called Quetzalcoatl. One of the ancient creations. It's possible a uh, vest uh, vestigial memory of the time endured. The subconscious recollection from the inheriting soul providing the basis for an entirely new religion. I have no idea what that means. As far as I know, Kishaihi was worshipped on another continent. His ancient faith was then brought to Tural by the first Hanuhanu. The Hanu migrated here from another continent. That may help the two do share a common ancestor. This is all very fascinating, but shouldn't we be getting back to Linu Hanu? He want to know the path is safe for the procession. Right, and I need to ride on the float. I'll run ahead and tell him we are done here. Oh, we actually... Oh, no. Meanwhile, cutscene. Okay. Meanwhile, no cannon. Of course. Marco Jaja is making trouble. Not sure we heard you right, old man. Why don't you say that again? As many times as you'd like. The third promise tasked me with repairing this float, and I'll not relinquish it to an uncultured brute like you. Much less one that can't even manage a simple greeting. We wanted to handle this in a civilized way, but we're more than willing to <laughs> kill you. We have a two-headed problem. Yes, please hurry. She's on her way back already? <laughs> Stand back, Wukevu! I will protect the float! <laughs> Are you trying to be brave, little bird? I could never have repaired the float alone. Not properly. But thanks to Wuklamat and her friends, we can hold Ihihana again. This is a priceless treasure. And as festival leader, I would die to protect it. All right. At least he is... What was the word again? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I'm trying to complete playing on the word. Jesus. Uh, very well. If that's what you want. Quite dedicated. That's what I wanted to say. That was a quite a long leap. Understand that gulf between us. But you need more lessons. We'll carve them into your mangy hide until you cry and beg forgiveness. Your brilliant plan was to steal the float and take the credit. 
the so-called blessed siblings are nothing but cheats. I don't know. I really, there's no rush in um, playing it. And no, I'm not muted. I wasn't muted before, I just wasn't you talking because I let the characters in the game talk before I talk. <laughs> anyway. I was there's no rush in getting back to it. I mean, I just like actually started playing it again this week, uh, last weekend, so yeah. <laughs> I was a bit late to the party, at least for Dawn Trail. <laughs> Your score is sweet music. Come with, ladies. We'll crush you each in turn. Or all together, if you like. Hey, okay. That happens sometimes. My tracking is not is not the best, really. But hey, that's webcam trapping for you. Hmm. <clears throat> Yourself, chosen one. If you fight in earnest, this will end in a massacre. What's more, we have word that our other prospect is on the verge of success. Hmm, then it would be foolish to expand effort, sweating nuts. <laughs> Lucky for you. Eh. They're just here to stir up trouble, nothing more already. Ugh, two heads. I see my mook still clings to that loathsome hope. Talk to us, third promise. You're not dying, are you? Of course she is not. She merely just got blocked. But she didn't even get hit, so... <laughs> It'll take more than that to kill me. So, are we having this festival or not? <laughs> yes! Yes, we are! It looks a bit weird when Diano on his mind. <laughs> Uh, thank you for coming to our rescue. I tried to protect the float, but against the two-headed... I may as well have not been there at all. Yep, he's right about it. Also, the sort of ground and brought us uh, the time we needed to make it back. You, are inc you were incredibly brave. I mean, I guess he bought some time, but still. Would have stood no chance. <laughs> Knowing Tianhanu. With that exciting interlude over, we are pleased to know that my repairs are finished as well. Before I commence the festival, however, it would be a courtesy to inform the villagers that Ihihana will be held after all. Go forth, but do not forget your greetings. At this stage, I should hope the reminder is unnecessary. Hokali, see? I remember. Alright. Uh, save Okali. All right. <laughs> Where's the first one? Uh, oh, wait, we should type correctly. There you go. 
Why do you not have an emote for that, though? What? The float is fixed? Our foreign friend would be glad to know that Iana will soon be underway. The Rufon had us to honor them with celebrations, not let their loss deter us from it. I must go enjoy the festival for those who no longer can. I think we can just cover it. Bukari! The festival is about to begin? What do you expect me to say? Besides, of course I will be there. Cleaning up the storms aftermath may have been hard on us, but the lifting of wings is tradition, and the joyous one are dead. I won't sit here brooding my days away. Give me a moment to get ready. Oh. Okay. He perked up quickly. I'm guessing you're the last one. Yep. Oh, Kelly! Again. Thank you for letting me know. I would very much like to attend the festival, but the repairs should be finished as soon as possible. What to do? What to do? Come on, just enjoy the festivities. Everyone needs a break once in a while. Just noticed the other player uh, caps locking a whole Kali there. Dana, we are pleased to hear the festival was going ahead, I imagine. That is well. Once the friends return, the lifting of wings can begin at last. Let's wait. Try to spread the word to like totally all a tour at least though. I mean, many of those want to attend the festivities too. You have come. Patience. Once Ihihana gets underway, no Hanu will be able to resist joining in. <laughs> Just so. Ukewu knows well the heart of the Hanu. Have faith, Third Promise, and climb aboard the float. It is time for the lifting of wings. And don't get seasick. Please. We don't want this to end in some kind of disaster. <laughs> Ikihana is a prayer for bountiful harvest. But this is not its only meaning. Oh, do tell more. It is also an exchange of pledges between rider and bearers. A commitment to a long and fruitful friendship. Listen well, friends! The personage we bear today is Wook Lamat, the savior of our beloved festival! Let your shoulders burn, or your feathers fall out, but do not even think of dropping her! <laughs> yep, she should be lighter than her dad, so yeah. Ready and Why are they walking so weirdly? <laughs> Why are they walking like this? Will empty belly stop you from joining in the fun? Come and help us carry the float! Well, well, well. To see the day that Dawn's promise would ride our boat again. <laughs> We've not had the honor since you were here, Golo and Jaja. Ja. 
I do like it that the victory from Ferris playing the background the entire time now. <laughs> this looks so silly. Watch well, for you are about to bear witness to the true glory of Ihihana. Yeah. It really is some kind of arcane progress. The float draws upon our life force, concentrating and amplifying the energy. Shaihi then receives that energy and expels it in a great burst, where it showers down upon the land to replenish its vital currents. How did Hano Hano never question all that glowing and like ether stuff whenever they held this festival year to year? Okay, that was quick. It worked. Like a literal charm. The float really was helping the reeds. That was amazing. To think that such a thing was even possible. Food secured, I would say. Should I have left the float behind like that? I was so excited to see the reeds. Nothing to worry yourself over. My brethren have been swept up by the festival fever. Last I saw, they were taking turns at the carrying poles on the way back to the village. <laughs> Please feel free to look over the fields and enjoy the sight of what you've accomplished. Still look a bit sickly. I feel like Gohanna is going to take care of that. I imagine even the harvest magic has its limits. If the Hanu continue their festival tradition year after year, though, the entire field should eventually recover. Where does that leave us with the feet, then? You've got nothing to fear on that account. Our situation could never have resolved itself. The revival of even a single reed would have served to demonstrate your commitment to the task. That you recognized the nature of the float and found a near-perfect solution in Ihihana proves your dedication. What's more, I don't think I've seen the festival produce such impressive results since I was a mere chirper. Sweet. Ah, 
We have been lax in maintaining the float, diluting its magic and reducing Ihihana to hollow theater. Connor! I was delayed by an unpleasant encounter, but it seems I arrived at a good time. Ah. Bagojaja probably had him up. Yep, I kind of expected it. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? What? You just pour in some mystery liquid and problem solved? Stagnant ether was to blame for the reed's poor condition. I assumed that was an alchemical concoction which enhances ethereal conductivity. It utilized the flowing water as an ethereal current, thereby promoting the transfer of life energies. A method I could not have devised without the education I received at the studium and the cooperation of my Archon allies. Ooh. Archon allies. You see, Lamachi, this is why we need to embrace foreign knowledge and technology. Employed appropriately, they make light work of what would otherwise be arduous labor. There's no need to lug around heavy floats. Well, you always were the clever one, brother. Your approach was no less effective, Wuklamat. It achieved the same result. Indeed it did. And you enjoyed the festival, yes? I did! It was so much fun! Having visited your village before, I thought I knew everything about it. As it turns out, I knew very little. About the reeds, about Ihihana. With all I've learned this time, I feel as though I've really come to know the Hanu. And I like you even more now than I did before. Aww, how sweet. The feeling is mutual. And it's not just you who had a lot to learn either. I'll never look at our float the same way again. The two of you have exceeded expectations. Come forth and claim your stones. Sweet. Keys on number two is ours. I feel like it went a lot faster than the other one. Five more to go. And on to the next. Not even a moment of celebration. That's Kona for you. Well, definitely not a sociable type. <laughs> the third promise? You must join us for Ikikana next season. As Dawn Servant, of course. Right. It's back to Tolinghiola for now. The question though, what about Bakujata? Thank you for having us. I look forward to seeing you all again. I don't feel good about like leaving him behind here and having him potentially stir up any kind of trouble. <laughs> uh, 
These are interesting times indeed. You could, especially because I really would put a pa uh, wouldn't put it past him to commit genocide with one of these villagers eventually. The concoction was brewed by Kona himself. It's a test vial, but it should contain the same reagents. Of course, they stole it. Good work. We'll use whatever we must to win. For win, we must. My journey has just, uh, has just started and already I've met so many wonderful people. Okay, Wu for one. He is a bit eccentric, but everyone could stand to be as respectful of other cultures as he is. And Leo Hanu. It warmed my heart to see him honor his departed friend throughout E. Hana and to help others do the same. I can't help but feel excited thinking who else I might meet over the course of the contest. Come on, let's head back to Jibayatie. I still guess this is how it's pronounced. Mm. We got two more Eva current cyclists. At least I'm guessing those will be Eva currents. Yep. I'm guessing us Atera is also doing this quest right now. Come on, Toro. Good boy. Paladin on the road. Mm -hmm. I'm always giving easy recurrent side quests for the most part, so yeah. Unless those will be like raid quests or a lion raid quest and such. Uh, I'm gonna skip most of them. Or like, uh, drop an out quest. Actually, I'm wondering right now, where do you unlock the Viper and the uh, Pictomancer, actually? Because I haven't seen quests for those two yet.
have to go all the way up there. Come on. Uh, I may pick up the other Eva current there then, which was in that area. Since we are already going there again. Can we go from here to that city with the the Eva ride? Uh, we will get there throughout the story eventually, so I would just save it for that. I don't need to take such big detours. Should be getting close. Still far east. So we're right at the edge here somewhere. Ah, right there. This area is really big, Jesus. It takes like a long, already quite a bit to get like from one end to the other. Flying would be faster, but well, can't fly yet, sadly. But it's also why I'm so eager to actually get the Eva currents. Flying is really so much more convenient for traveling, really. Um. Alright, this is further up. Come on. There you go. Enjoy your fruit. Mm. I was just gonna look that part of the map up there. It's because we're already here. Perfect.
upgrade. Is Avernet dead? Ah, he has Ixion. Then let's return to Toriola. And actually, you will do a short toilet break here. So, I'm gonna be right back. Yeah. Wow, okay, silly me. I'm back. I would have muted myself, but I just didn't probably hit the button correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, let's teleport down there, I guess. We do have access to the Ethernet after all. Look at us! The contest has barely begun and we already have two keystones. Surely my talent brothers are doing this well. We can only help. The success of others. Because you're getting to know now. Hmm. You have fallen keen souls from both the feet of reeds and the feet of gold. Surely that means our approach to the contest was the right one. So it would seem, by continuing to retrace Guriolo, uh, uh, good old Jaja's journey as presented in the saga, we should find the remaining electors in turn. And let's visit the giants next. Like here, uh, Kari said, the fact that they were searching for the Golden City might mean they know something useful. The dome of the Yoku is in the upper reaches of Uko Pasha. Unless you're keen on scaling the cliffs, we'll have to take the long way around. Frill. Kusamauka. This road will take us close to the Moblin village, which is another important location in the saga. Since we need all the keystones eventually, it makes sense to pay them a visit while we are passing through. So we call on the Moblins first then. Let's head there right now. I'm afraid right now is going to be a problem. The flight of the wee wingless, the great stairs leading to the Moblin settlement collapsed in the storm. What are we to do then? There's no alternative, but it requires preparation. Until it's ready, you could rest at the cabins or see more of the city, whatever you prefer. Alright. Just to be sure, you will accept any method of travel as long as it gets to our destination? Of course. Who do you take me for? Um, then as your guide, I will see to the arrangements. What is the planning? Well, it seems that we have some dream time on our hands. Let us make the most of it. I need to get my axe prepared. I nicked the blade pretty badly when I took the swing at Bako Jaja. That reminds me, I never got around to introducing you to Robly, did I? He's the man in charge of Washu Meki Meki and a good person to know. Want to come along? Alrighty. Let's go then. Ready? The markers of Russian uh, Maki Maki are to the east on the side of the base aid. Whatever it was. And it's another ice cold mission. Alright. I 
I'm just gonna skip past that one without really saying much interesting in those optional ones. Ah, script exchange and everything, so you will be like the tombstone gear stuff. Good to know. My mind, a third promise. How might I assist you this fine evening? I met Robbie. I need to buff a nasty nick out of my X blade. Yes, it's been chipped quite terribly. Trying to cleave rocks again, were we? Eh, yeah, something like that. Think I can fix it? You stand among Tural's most prestigious gathering of artisans and ask this question? This is child's play. We have it repaired for you in two shakes of an alpaca stay. Good to hear. I leave it in your capable hands. Who's a commander, if I may ask? This time I'm a great adventurer I recruited from across the sword. I brought her here to meet you, actually. Though she might have reasons to visit Russia Maki Maki sooner or later. Then allow me to introduce myself. I'm Robley, humble representative of this great center of trade. A pleasure to meet you, Tamamo. You there, stop differing in the shadows and announce your business already. I've seen that man somewhere before. Was it ah, yeah, he wasn't a ship with us. Ciao. He was the one who, who was looking for a job. A true remaker you met on the voyage over. Oh, I remember I spoke to him, too. Fon Chante? Yes, that was his name. If a lawyer don't like a flighty admirer who can pluck up the courage to confess his feelings. Out of it, then. Why are you here? I, uh... That is to say... And... He's gone. <sighs> and we're no closer to solving that enigma. Um, I wonder if we could use someone to talk to. I say we go and ask. Let me know by a link pearl if you find him first. Are we really just chasing him? I'm guessing what he is trying to ask is for uh, a job with Robley. Since he's an artisan, after all, a jewelry maker. Upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs is a little bit. Rory is not here. Uh, ah, there he is. We were conversing with Master Robley, but wait, we've met before, haven't we? On the ship. You found him? Good. I will be right there. Why did you run off like that? Do you have business with Robley or not? Please, you need concern yourself with my affairs. I'm undeserving of such attention. Ha, huh, what are you going on about? I beg of you, do not ask me to explain. Do not. Sorry, but the more you tell me not to, the more curious I become. Besides, you look like you need a friend. <sighs> You're too kind. So be it. I suppose I can share with you a morsel of my misery. 
Before I came to Tuyola, I worked as a goldsmith at the most prestigious jewelry maker in all of Ulda, as times as Tadex. I was sort of well enough, but as the days passed, everything began to go wrong. Compared to the masterpieces of my talented colleagues, my products were lacking. Mediocre. I lost all my confidence. Crippling doubt had possessed me, and any veneer of Borado I tried to put forth soon cracked beneath its weight. Thus did I take a ship, hoping to find a fresh beginning on new shores, yet as you, as you witnessed, I lacked courage to even approach a potential employee. He stand before a man wallowing in the wreckage of his ill-spent existence. We perfectly called it. Uh, alright then. You offer them also. Then served us the full course. You must have really wanted someone to hear your story. If you, uh, if you like, I could try to give you a few words of advice. Um, you have experience with my predicament? Or feeling terribly inadequate compared to your undeniable superior peers? Well, when you put it that way, I... Uh <laughs> Not me, I'm Muklamat, the third promise of Toriola. Daughter of the Dawn Servant. Uh, oh, of course, here I are a member of royal family. Please forgive my presumptuousness. But what of you? Have you ever measured your work against that of your colleagues and found yourself wanting? can measure you uh, by the success of others. How can I not? Should my work not meet the same exacting standards? No new commissions will be forthcoming. But then what's the point of my, uh, of my becoming a goldsmith? Hmm. Going back, it was my father who inspired me to take up the trade. His exquisite creations brought radiant smiles to the faces of its clients, and I admired him deeply for it. But in the course of striving to be as great as a goldsmith with him, I was tired of my original motivation. All I wanted was to spread joy for my craft as he did. Perhaps, perhaps I will give this one last try. Thank you both for reminding me of what is truly important. What is truly important. Hmm. Yep. Really this small intermission, I guess. Oh, sorry, Tamamo. I didn't mean to ignore you. But yes, I'm glad to see Fonchantine to giving himself another chance. Fortrally-ish. I can't help but wonder if uh, Fonchantain will follow through. Let's see if he's actually gone to walk with, to talk with Frobly. Let me actually pick up the... If we're right up here again. I was kind of you to come, but you needn't worry. I found my courage. Do you know? Please accept my apologies for my earlier behavior. My name is Fang Tain and I'm a goldsmith from Uldai in faraway Oasia. 
I realize this is a bold request, but I would like to continue practicing my trade here in Russia Maki Maki, if you will help me. Ask only for the opportunity to bring happiness to others with my creations. So that's what it was about. We were looking for work. Consider yourself hired. Russia Maki Maki is always in need for skilled craftsmen and women. I've handed the necessary paperwork. Can you start tomorrow? Yes, yes, of course. I must thank you both again for your sage and timely advice. I don't know what I, uh, that I was all that helpful. But you were. Had you not come to speak with me, I would not have had the moment of much needed self reflection. The arrangements have been made. Come and meet me at the entrance of High Tide Harbor. Oh, I think we're gonna be using the, uh, the balloons, are we not? Alright, I almost forgot. Did you have my eggs ready properly? Ready and waiting. Behold the sublime touch of a Wakumaki, uh, Washumaki Maki artisan. Ooh, it's sharp and deadly as the first I held it. Thank you. Well, good luck to you, Fonchantaine. Let me know if the doubt creeps back in. I'd happy to talk to you out of it. Uh, be happy to talk you out of it. As far as we should head for the harbor. Wouldn't want to keep Earn while waiting. Let me check the message for a moment. Look there, this is my big plan. Hey Dan! Welcome to the chat. I'm doing good. But what is that? I think we... What is that? It looks... Almost like a swimming stone to be honest. <laughs> it's a... Punu tea. She'll be pulling our boat up river. Seems going fine, I guess. How do you know she won't fresh about and sink us instead? They're gentle and timid creatures, for the most part. She's unlikely to cause a fuss unless you give her a reason to. First alpacas, no, who knows he is. We're relying on a lot of animals for this journey. Well, that's not a bad thing, really. We should be thankful we have an animal expert as our guide, then. Will it have to be my old nemesis? Another boat? <laughs> Well, I took you for someone who was up to the challenge. Was I wrong? Uh. Long ago, when, fi uh, when fighting still raged between the clans, the inhabitants of Kosamauka rode those riverboats to move swiftly through the hostile territory. But the wizards you little used with Tural now at peace, so I was able to borrow one of the few which remain. I did consider uh, the ritual, but the pilots warned me that the updrafts near the falls would make landing difficult. Uh, 
You said you borrowed one, yet there appear to be several underwater. Corner! Looks like you had the same idea. Now about he, trailing up the river, I presume. Seems that way. Does it mean you've earned two keystones already? I can't believe how well you've managed despite undertaking the contest alone. I was never alone. I've had my own entourage with me since the beginning. Wait, what, what are you talking about? Why are Fangrid and Uyan Shi helping him? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, not daily, but still regularly. At least, like, at least I try once a week on this channel, but I'm a bit more regular on my YouTube channel. But there I stream in German, not in English. Thank you, Ryan What are you doing here? It's calling a promise, the same as you. I'd heard much of the incomparable archons during my time in the studio. As soon as the contest was confirmed, I followed who better to recruit to my course. I contacted the scholar who arranged an introduction to these two gentlemen. The second promise had specific requirements. They who would be his assistants must boast both brutal survival skills and mastery of the arcane arts. Well, working, programming, and other than that, just casually enjoying anime, manga, hanging out with friends, the usual stuff. Dusted Fangrid and I received the summons. My own study, uh, study is concentrated on technology which our people could readily use, such as inventions born from, from architect or clever engineering. The magic was concerned, I covered only the foundation. Knowing you two expect you had other reasons for accepting the job. A few. The nation of Tuliola spans an entire continent. Depending on who wins the throne, the world may be plunged into instability once more. Even have we striven to preserve peace. Where's our place if not here and now? We did our due diligence, of course, and made sure of who we were working with before agreeing into his endeavor. He is even more opaque than Oyanji at times, but is surprisingly... That's quite enough of that. We must be on our way. Wait, I have one question before you leave. Koana Wuklamad are vying for the throne. As Corner's entourage, does that mean you resolve to defeat all his opponents, including us? I kind of like that we have a rivalry going on with our comrades. <laughs> we just want to do all in our power to win this contest for Corner, even when it means competing against our own comrades. Thank you for the follow, Zolan. Very much appreciated. And you won't disappoint you. And as a new professional artist. I thought we were taking a boat. If even you have been forced to travel on water, then the others will be doing the same. I would rather walk than risk confrontation on a lakey barge with no possibility of retreat. That's actually smart of Koana. It is true that I can't stand boats. But I trust her out on where it's chosen for us. Leave the ending of the Bunuichi to me. Should other wildlife attacker us, however, I may have difficulty keeping you under control. Do your best to draw them away, as far from the front of the boat as possible.
Can we should remain on deck and send guard? Although it may be wise to have at least one of us set up on for, uh, up front with Fernwood, just in case. I would like to stay on the deck. I'm eager to put my Pictomancy to the proof. And I will take any chance to show you that I caught him of my own on the battlefield. Oh wait, is this actually gonna be a dungeon? The Inquiry will stand on guard with Tamamo. I keep a real company then. With my blade, I can respond more quickly to threats than all, you know. Thank you. If the fight breaks out, I will try to stay out of your way. Then I shall endeavor to provide aid where it is needed. Although, by the way, uh, do not advertise yourself. Even if you just want to show me your artwork. And no, I'm just not casually dropping my Discord. At least for now. I can do that as well. That should cover most eventuality. Secure your gear and board about when you're ready. <sighs> Bago Jaja will definitely be trying to fight us. <laughs> Let the hand begin. Really is a, st is a dungeon? Sure, I'm ready. Uh, I don't know, with other players. Ba -ba -ba. Ooh, instant. I already said I'm not casually just dropping my Discord on here. I don't just want random people to have my Discord. Follow the link that's in chat, you can find it through that. The one my bot posted. Poker Judge are already immediately fighting us. Of course he is.
What's it doing? <sighs> what an asshole. I already got spammy with AOEs, as you can see. That's a summer boss as it looks like. I'm going to now. Uh, I mean, you can just screw them. Wait, how did it come there ahead of us? Oh wait, it did say they would walk the area. 
Interesting, though. That was my bad. Second boss. Not during the stream. Also, it can be a bit more polite about it, not so pushy, you know. I think this, yeah, okay, this should be fine. Just so it's Okay, you just took it with an in one. Sure. <laughs> we didn't complete unnecessary there. Why am I not getting any heater gear?
really can tell this is like the first dungeon of the this expansion because the must is not, not doing much. Well, it's just the party I have is that good, but yeah. Nothing for healers. Sad. Ah, an apex predator. Hold on. Okay. Is there a, is there a reference to another Final Fantasy I wanna? Keep calling it. Yep, he is. Oh, wait, he's not. They're not helping him, though. Ah, I see. I almost got it again. Summoning tornadoes. Err.
One of the easiest dungeons, really. Good. Do you have to make space for it on my hot bar though? This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. <sighs> we'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. Hey, I'm really actually already dead. Right? Let's wait. Oh, I suppose you might not catch up to you. This cavern is to rest uh, dug by the Yokyui in the search of gold. Remnants of the excavation can be found throughout this region. Well, I appreciate your lessons, a oh, wise guide, or oh, well, well, learning this boat anytime soon. Our river journey is almost over. For proof of that, you need only look ahead. The forts were impressive enough from a distance, but it's almost too much now. Yes, so amazing. No, nope, please let me off. Poor Wuglamu. No, no more bones. I um. Oh, you're not all right. I should be surprised if she was. Even without an usher, we are all spent. There's a mountain shadow nearby, a resting spot for those who've ascended the stairs. It should just make use of it. That would be a welcome respite. Have you just drank for a walk, Wuglamat? We can rest along the way too. Damn it all. I promise it's meant to lead from the front, not mirror and moan like a sick kitten. Wuglama. Ignore me. It's an Osha talking. I'm fine already. Lead on. I'll follow. Very well. But if I might say one thing. Just because you're a promise or a claimant for the throne doesn't mean you can't be seen to struggle. You needn't bear this burn alone. So please don't hesitate to talk to Togas. We're always willing to lend you. But cry, I... I want to to be weak sometimes, definitely.
Ja, så hört han mig. Well, da. I've always believed this is my problem alone, but perhaps you have to write of it. Alright, I'll talk about things. Just give me a moment to collect my thoughts. Of course, as long as you need. You'll be waiting at the shelter when you're ready. Now, before we actually do anything, can I check out this? I want to check out the skill. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, can I be executed by under the effect of impact imminent? Where did I get impact imminent from? Ah! I'm getting a. Yeah, okay. Upon using strange at a turn. Okay. Let's begin them for a time to alt it's nearby. I don't have a monster immediately nearby, alright? I wanna check it out. I've long felt that I could never tell anyone when I was confused or hurting that admitting to weakness would bring shame to Papa's name. But if you say you're willing to listen, then there are things I would like to talk about. Come on, let's catch up to the others. Uh, just a question, how am I gonna do this? It's unusual for me to have an attack button there. So like this because it's like immediately here stuff. I didn't even use this skill uh, last time around, even though you should usually use it on tanks, but I have to... <laughs> I still have to get back into, like, the... Um, still have, like, kind of moving into it, I haven't been using scrolling in quite a while. But hey. Even though I played up optimally, still worked out. Quite fine. Ah. Yeah, okay. Uh, where 
where's it again? Southwest. Let's check where it is. Hey, why is it saying 380 yams now? Huh? Okay, then I was just like mm, misreading it. Wait. Take any fate points I can get along the way. It'll make things easier for me in the future. Before I talk to them, I will pick up the ether, right? <laughs> We should stop here for the night. I still decided to rush ahead, but we need to recuperate from our punishing river adventure. When that's it in, we'll need a cook fire and there's a meal preparation to be done. I've been meaning to ask, but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Servant? I was but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel. But I've never bothered to return there. Hmm. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. I quite understand. I have no memories of my birth parents either. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather, and he was all I needed. So our situations were quite similar. Even though Papa already had a true-born son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I'm just wondering, do you not actually have like also a mother? At least you would think so. I was scared, and sobbing, and ready for a scolding. But the Head of Resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. Dwayne, it could be that he was like a single dad doing this stuff. I did get my lecture from the Head of Reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. <laughs> Growing wow. up, Papa was kind and patient. A tyrant when it came to training. Now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. 
For all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana. I hardly know anything. I've lived such a sheltered life. Yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. Or animals, for the head matter. <laughs> I don't have Kona's education or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. I'm not fit to bear my title. You may have not the education, you may not have the strength, but you have the heart. Mm. And you're just gonna tell her the same thing with the yellow. Don't compare myself to my siblings, you mean? Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. My reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. It's always been about the Turali and what I can do for them. You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. All right. I will find a city of gold for all of us, along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Cryo. I swear. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. <laughs> Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats. As his granddaughter, I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation. So let's just concentrate on winning the contest. We have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Nice he said, Cryo. Here, here. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Why is he playing the old one out? He's part of the crew. We were in the second promises camp. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? Nay. There is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Mm, it's not the first time we had we had Fangrid and Uyongshi both as our rivals for a moment in time. Helping you has made us rivals, aye. But we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. <laughs> wow. Despite our long history, 
Never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. <laughs> Lamati has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Bardesian. And then there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. If she's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. Our time in Urkel Pacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. I see really no reason for Ruglamar or Koana to compete against one another. They would make a perfectly f team together. And like, as to, like, when they both would rule a Dawn Servant. As Dawn Servant. And when you go back to uh, the thing about the Dawn Servant actually having been uh, uh, Mamuja with two heads, which is kind of rare where one is like focused on like physical um, yeah more physical strength and everything and the other more on magics and like wisdom and stuff these two together would make their perfect double-headed momoja and i feel like this will be my guess now I feel like they will eventually ending up um, as like the Dawn Servant together. Or maybe one of them will be the Dawn Servant in name, but they both will uh, share the duties of the Dawn Servant. You could say. Our nation can change for the better. And I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. <laughs> Higher in reference there. But to return to the subject of the rise. I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes Dawn Servant, not the one who performed the seven feats first. True. And I feel like this is what Baguja will be waiting for. Or Zamulja. Out of them. The would be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, with the first promise, oh, actually, getting to see everyone's progress, I guess. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. <laughs> they still have me. <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Dawn's servant. Such titles mean nothing. Ah, I neglected to mention. When I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence, 
with Gulul Jaja's inner circle, they all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great, it can dictate the course of history. Hmm. If this power truly exists, then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside, after all. And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? I mean, I understand what he's trying to do, but I still can't agree with his, with his approach. Like, not even the slightest. And I feel like he is trying to make use of that situation and eventually betray him. At least this is what it looks like. Hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. I agree with that. I had hard at dungeon, uh, dungeon bosses. Uh, I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. Be a shame to lose a plaything, but we'd still have two more. <laughs> if I may ask, chosen one. What are your plans for Tuliolal after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we care about all that? We care only about the contest, improving our superiority. Idiot. That would surely please mother and father. Yes, and when we become Dawn's servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our kin to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea! Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. But do it then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> I made it. <sighs> I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat, <laughs> yet somehow I made it. <laughs> oh, my arms, I can barely lift them. If, if I could just rest a moment. <laughs> you expect us to wait for you? Those who can't keep up will be left behind. My brother has spoken. March, or be father for the beasts. Hmm. But I followed the teachings. Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for my blessed seedlings. Wait. Don't leave me behind. I'm begging you. Yeah. I really don't like Bago Shasha. Being able to say those things has brought me much uh, has brought me such relief. It's like a stone has been lifted off my chest, and I can take a full breath at last. I don't want to encumber myself like that again. I want to be better, will be better, for myself and for my people. Yay! Ah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I knocked your trust uh, for that. All right, but I think I will end it here. It feels like a good place to stop for today, but we we'll definitely continue next time. You can be sure of that. What well end?
Let's first check if someone is online for raiding. Uh, yeah, calm down. I'm just opening the browser, PC. Uh, No. Then let's just look the Final Fantasy fourteen category find someone. Um interesting. Categories. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. English. Let's see. Interesting combo. Yeah, I think I want to write up. There we go. Um, my channel. Sometimes you're taking so long to borrow find someone already. Well, ready is gone. We're starting, and with that, I hope you enjoy watching and following me along while I explore down the uh, yeah, down the trail. I definitely will be continuing this, and you can expect this to be a bit more of a regular thing, as I already said last time. I will try to do a bit of a longer stream this weekend for it, so we can push quite a bit of story. And yeah, I definitely hope I'll be seeing it there. I don't know that. Support and feedback is always appreciated. And I, yeah, be nice over in the raid. Anything else would be just me. And with that being said, we will see each other next time. Until then, bye bye.